just got to Burbank with the crew. Farouk is in town. What up, y'all? And we are gonna go to Mag Park right now. I wanna show them. They've never been to Mag Park, so we are gonna show them around. I don't know if Mickey's here. Mickey, Mickey is still here, so he stuck around to say hi. What did I tell you about vlogging when I vlog, bro? I'm trying to get my- I'm gonna wrap your ass up. I don't wanna- I'm gonna kick you. And then I'm gonna ship your ass to Atlanta again. Listen, I'm not trying to like get all up close on the store and then start vlogging. Bro. Okay. My okay. 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 Oh, I waited just for you. Yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> Practicing for the hoop costume. You know what I'm saying? All right, go show them. Show them for you the three. Uh, three point contest preview. Maybe three point contest. Oh damn. Oh look, Bull's here. All right, now we're gonna go upstairs to see what the move is. I'm gonna do a little challenge for today. Get that time lapse in, bro. It's scary though, bro. All right, guys, so I'm here in the back rooms of Mag Park upstairs where they have all the LV Supreme stuff as well as just regular Supreme stuff, babe, anti-social, all that hype stuff. And I wanted to do a comparison because you know, this LV Supreme drop was definitely one of the biggest Supreme drops of all time. Compared to a regular Supreme shirt, what are the differences? How does it feel? Is it worth worth the resale price and we will be comparing it to this regular red box logo t-shirt as you can see the red supreme box logo this one resells for about six hundred and fifty dollars and quality is kind of like a regular hanes tee i would say maybe just a little bit thicker it's not gilded quality i have always stressed that bape quality is kind of thick and it doesn't feel too good on the skin but this supreme quality is actually pretty nice and it's it's good for its price range and for what it is now the supreme lv collab t-shirt super super thin i can tell why they did that just because oh, i'm pretty sure LV is the one that manufactured all this stuff and it's just like this is like the high-end quality that they use I honestly don't think this is worth the resale price of over two thousand dollars I think the most anyone should pay for this is a thousand dollars but because of demand that's what it goes for and the retail price being at four hundred dollars or whatever it was I think that's worth it I think it is worth it just because it is the LV Supreme collab if I had to either pay six hundred fifty dollars for that one or two thousand dollars for this one I would go with this one this one definitely wins in my opinion. Okay, so now you got my opinion, and you guys already know I love this whole LV Supreme drop, but I wanna get some people's opinion on the street. So let's go hit the streets of Burbank and find out what everybody else thinks of the LV Supreme drop. So man, right now we're heading over to Excuse me, excuse me, sir. How you doing, sir? Can we get a question? Yeah, that's your question. Can you pause your music for us? Yeah. What are your thoughts on the LV Supreme collab and has the hype died? The hype has not died. The, cr the collab is crazy. Everybody's been going bananas, been waiting for it for a long time. That stuff's so sick. I need to get more of it. I got a couple things for retail, like luckily, like shout out to the plug on that one, but I need to get more of them. Like that crew neck, like, no, it's sick. Why do you think it died? No? The hype has definitely not died because they didn't do their restock of it. But I think it's pretty dope. The duffel bags are mad dope. I don't know about the resale prices and like paying like two, three, four, like 5K for a hoodie. Like Mag has one for 7K, that's ridiculous. But I think the duffel bags are mad dope. What is Supreme? Don't you make videos on it? Who's that? Hype died for Supreme, hell yeah. It's lit for Louis Vuitton, they got new customers, but yeah, I like it. I like all the dope shit other than the hoodie. That, that's disgusting. You know the one that's red, it's got all that, nah, that's nasty. But other than that, it's dope, I like it. Uh, I do not think the hype has died. I think the hype is unreal, especially after they canceled the second and third pop-up here in LA. That being said, that the majority of the collection is no bueno. The ARC logo is fire. Camo with the uh, monogram is fire. Everything else. Oh my god! He's lying. The hell, the ARC logo is ugly as hell. The ARC logo is the best one. Shut up, man. The hoodie. Supreme fight. You know, I think the hype is uh, heavier than it was. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about weight. They canceled all the US locations and the hype just skyrocketed. I talk about an airplane. And that concludes our, our survey today. All right, guys, so we just got back to the cribbo. A lot less people than earlier, but let's just say Versace frame's still lit. And your boy just got like three packages, so it's time for, hold on, he's actually here with me. <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> yup, it, it's that. So, we got the mids too though. We got the mids. Coke White, Air Force One, mids. I'm gonna give these away probably. Okay, and then one more box. 
crap, man. What's up? All right, guys. So Crep Protect sent me a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know what. I don't even have room for this stuff. So guess what we gonna do? We gonna bring it to SneakerCon, baby. We gonna bring this stuff to SneakerCon. Let's see. Sprays. We got more sprays. Cure kits. Cure kits. We got the pills. And then I just picked these up too. A round two pickup. Shout out to round two. Appreciate it. Just kidding. Those are Tonys. All right. Let's go to this Puma event. We'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so we are back on Melrose. Sun is going down, but the shades stay on because Puma gave me these, so you got to keep them on for the Puma event. Everybody got their Pumas on, but these are all from my. What? Huh? Is that Jacob? Jacob Star. Jacob Star. Jacob. Oh, hey, what up, guys? No, no autographs. No autographs. Chill, chill, chill. No autographs. Wait, guys, there's a red carpet. Vibes. to do this for so long now we are really outside of a recording studio we are about to make a track and I know I know everyone's doing tracks these days Jake Paul all this stuff I mean at the end of the day making music is making music I have made other songs before I've done parodies like six years ago I made songs. I've been known to spit a few bars and your boys about to go in into the booth and you know you already know sneaker youtubers hey and youtubers we've got a problem though the chorus is sneakers and I don't really use the word sneakers Crap trainers. Crap YouTubers. All right, guys, so we are in the studio right now. Check out these vibes, bro. Rap, 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 rap. Let me get in the booth one time. Let me get in the booth one time. Like, bro, I'm about to go in. Yeah, Put check it. On. Cut oh. your neck, I'm coming for the win. I am. Team 20. The sneaker dream, American dream. Pull up in your All right. <laughs> Everything top secret, but we about to have a good time. You got the oh, line at your booth? What the oh, line at your booth? Get your roots. <laughs> Sneaker YouTuber. Yeah, I think we should be gonna we're just freestyling everything. Okay, okay, but, 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 that whole you got no, I'm about to just use the fidget spinner. <laughs> You got no line at your booth. It feels so weird when you guys just look at me like that. I feel like I'm in like prison. Can I get an you know? Yeah. That's it, guys. Let's Is go. that why I always watch the Lorraine Gus play that bet? Turn my left headphone up. <gasps> Sneaker YouTubers. All right, guys. So we just left the studio and it is what time, man? 218. 218, bro. We were in oh, there. I'm East Coast time. So that's like four. No, that's 518, by the way. Fam, Bull went hard on the track, bro. He's coming for someone's neck, bro. I don't even know whose neck he was coming for. Now, we wanted to film the video. Video, but we didn't think it would go this long so the video is not gonna be shot today the video will be shot tomorrow and the video and song will be released this Saturday so while we are at sneaker con we are gonna drop this song but I'm not gonna leave you guys empty-handed I'm gonna give you a quick little preview at the outro of this vlog it's mad I didn't have a verse on that I didn't feel like I fit it on that but properly, you're still on the song but I'm on there yeah. I'm in there. Sneaker YouTuber sneak sneaker YouTuber La Flame you gotta watch out fam damn 100 that was pro. That was really good. Let's just say they're sleeping on the boy. Damn, sleeping on the boy. Everybody's getting their luggages out. They're going hard, fam. Let's just say they're not ready. They go, a lot of people are going to hate us after this one. You ain't got no lines at your booth. All right, we're going to head back to the crib. We might have to just end it right now. And I'm going to end it with a little preview of the song. If you are in LA, please come to SneakerCon this weekend. It is going to be absolutely lit. Music video coming out on Saturday. We out of here, fam. You got no line at your booth. Sneaker YouTuber. You got no line.